Karnataka is experiencing a climate crisis like never before. And now, it's not just the drought and the severe water crisis in Bengaluru, but also the heat wave. Bengaluru, famous for its weather, recorded the hottest day in April on April 2nd with temperatures soaring as high as 37.2 degrees Celsius. According to the India Meteorological Department, the normal temperature for Bengaluru in April is 34.1 degrees Celsius. But this time, the IMD issued a heat wave warning noting that in certain isolated areas of Karnataka, the current maximum temperature is higher than the 95th percentile of the climatological value. Interestingly, cities like Gurigam and Mumbai had lower temperatures with the maximum recorded temperature on April 2nd was 32.2 degrees Celsius and 32.9 degrees Celsius respectively. High temperatures are expected for the next week across Karnataka, which continues to be higher as compared to other cities. The heat index in isolated pockets of coastal and north interior Karnataka is in the range of 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. And it looks like Karnatakas are going to face a tough summer with not only the water crisis, but also the heat wave. A few tips that the general public should be aware during the hard weather summer to avoid heat stroke. Kindly avoid going out during the peak of sunlight that's between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Those who are planning to go out for a walk should generally plan either early mornings or late evenings. People going out should wear sun protective agents like sunscreens with high SPF using a wide brimmed hat or using the regular umbrellas. Drink plenty of water, minimum of at least 8 glasses per day. Kindly take a lot of water and consume even if you are not thirsty. So the most vulnerable population to heat stroke or during the heat waves are the children and the elderly. The elderly population, especially those who are taking medications like diuretics or anticholinergic medications or anti-parkinsonism medications or psychiatric medications are the population which are prone for dehydration. And the children below six months of age should have extra breast milk to prevent dehydration and children above six months should have extra amount of water in between the feeds. General public should avoid going out during the peak of sunlight, take plenty of water, try to wear loose and light fitted clothing, avoid consuming coffee, tea and alcohol especially. How do you recognize the symptoms of excess heat exhaustion or heat stroke? Is one feels extremely tired, muscle weakness, inability to concentrate, becomes lethargic and sometimes confused too. And how do you manage them? So those with these symptoms should be recognized at the earliest. Go to the nearest hospital or the nearest health facilities available. And once the symptoms are recognized as the, that secondary to the heat waves or heat stroke, immediately precaution should be taken to remove the extra clothing if they are wearing any, try to cool the temperature by giving by using some ice packs or if you have got an access to a tub with cold water, you can immerse the individual in the tub with cold water. But avoiding avoid during avoid doing this with children and infants. So the general public kindly avoid going out in summer and consume a lot of water.